Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and for years I've been saying that the iPhone killer is the next iPhone. Now, I've said this because for years I've been told by various and sundry individuals that this phone, this, this phone right here, this is the iPhone killer. This phone is the iPhone killer. This is what they would say. And they'd be talking about a non-iPhone phone when they would suggest that this was the iPhone killer because... Specs? But you know what? Uh, no alleged iPhone killer really ever came close to killing the iPhone, at least outright. And when I say the iPhone killer, the true iPhone killer is the next iPhone, in the past, I've meant it from the perspective of knowing that when Apple releases a new iPhone, people may want to upgrade their older iPhone if they had a good experience with their older iPhone. Although data is now being surfaced, suggesting that a previous gen iPhone is now somewhat a little more popular in certain situations than the newer iPhone that's been released. And we're not even talking about the pending iPhone release. We're talking about apparently the iPhones 7 uh, doing well in sales uh, over the iPhone 8s. And I say that because I know that it's iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. The iPhone 10 hasn't even been released. We don't know what's going to happen with the iPhone 10. But I know that in the past, when Apple released a new iPhone, even if I didn't say that as well as I could have said, a lot of people are driven towards it, if only because it may, allegedly, provide a better experience. I'm not sure if that's the case anymore, and this is independent of any other uh, studies that you may have seen uh, surfaced or any other data points. This is uh, simply anecdotal. So I feel that the next iPhone is the iPhone killer for me. I'm seeing a, a bit of a stir happen online, primarily on Twitter, where, uh, quite honestly, I think a, a, a good portion of the community uh, communicates with one another, apart from, you know, private forums. Uh, and I'm seeing a lot of restlessness. And, and now I'm, I'm starting to see it surfaced in circles that you would not consider to be as technically proficient as you might be, or, or let's say outside the geek nerd realm. People are wondering if they are ready to move outside of Apple's ecosystem, specifically with a phone, with a device, a primary computer, a personal computer, a PC, that's not an iPhone. And I tweeted something very briefly last night, a quote tweeting, effectively someone saying, boy, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but that new Pixel phone is looking really good. And, and this woman appeared to be on the fence. Like, she wasn't sure because, she, I, I don't know if she was joking, but the, the gist of it was that she'd feel a little weird because she's been an iPhone person for so long. And I know a lot of people who have been iPhone people for so long. But here's the thing. You're a person. You're not the device. You're not going to hurt anything. If you change your mind, if you realize that there may be something better for you, in fact, I would recommend that you open your eyes, uh, especially if you haven't had a, a, a good experience with now iOS's competitor, its only competitor, Android. Uh, if, if you haven't had a good experience in the past, you may want to look at another way to experience what Google has to offer specifically in the program that they've now been running at least for a year and I believe will uh, run indefinitely. So... When, when she tweeted this, I, I started to think, I'm like, you know, this isn't just about you and me talking about, you know, what the Pixel does or what Google does and what Apple does and what the iPhone does. This is in, in, in the, the camp of normies, <laughs> like people who don't, you know, necessarily fixate on the latest technology releases. And, and quite honestly, I, I find myself uh, more in that camp than I do in the camp that you think I'm in, if only because I'm always the odd person out when it comes to a lot of new releases. I tend to fixate on the software experience, not so much the hardware, which drives me nuts, and y'all know that. In fact, there was another blog post that, that was saying, this is amazing, this is why everyone's going to want to upgrade to the iPhone 10, and, and they showed a picture. I'm like, but that doesn't answer anything. But the reason was is because of the design. I'm like, but... But design isn't the entire experience. Like, that's just what the hardware looks like. 
It doesn't speak to how it works, how the software works. And, and, and we're not just talking about the, uh, uh, the bits that exist on the device, but specifically the internet bits. I'll get to that, I hope, in, in just a moment. So now when I say the only iPhone killer is the next iPhone, that to me is where I'm at. Because I'm seeing the iPhone 10 at a distance, knowing full well that y'all still want me to review it. If we meet the uh, current goals on go.tagjag.com slash device fund, we'll see if it'll happen. Uh, I know that it's not for me in its current state, in its current incarnation. Not just the hardware, but the software, and, and specifically uh, certain services around it. This is the point I was uh, suggesting I would get to this morning. I needed to coordinate a, a, a time to uh, meet with somebody, uh, but uh, they unfortunately are not in the same time zone as me. So I was like, okay, I, I know I could go through the calculation, the mental calculation and figure out, well, minus this, minus that, plus the hour, hours, hours, ah, yeah, yeah. It's just as easy to pick up the phone and say, May, Mary, and I say it that way so I don't trigger anybody. I mean, triggered! You know, not, I mean, like, trip your phone or your device. May, Mary, what time is it in Pacific if it's X o'clock Eastern or something like that. And of course, Siri returned a result that was so unhelpful. I mean, I, I feel like I'm being generous when I say that Siri works 60% of the time. Let's face it, if, if, a, if a piece of technology works 90% of the time, you're probably not going to enjoy that experience at 90% of the time, let alone 60% of the time. That's just how it works. When you can't count on technology, you stop counting on it. Like you stop relying on it. You stop using it for a lot of different reasons, but reliability is a part of it. You don't see that on a spec sheet. You don't see it in the design of a device. It speaks to the overarching user experience. So just for kicks, for giggles, for grins, I decided to fire up Google Assistant on the very same iPhone, the very same one that I'm using to record the video. This one that you're watching right now, that you're remembering to like after you press the little like button down there if you're liking what's going on. Turn on notifications, subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. Make sure you tune into TLDR later today. It'll be live as we do every day at youtube.com slash locker gnome. It's over there. Just look, look, turn your head, look. Ha, <laughs> I bet you at least one of you did. So effectively, I tried it on Google Assistant. And surprisingly, not surprisingly, it returned the results that I could use. And I asked the question in the very same way, very same uh, uh, tone of voice and everything. It was, it was precise. I even uh, took these screenshots and posted them to my social feeds. Uh, and, and I said, here's artificial intelligence and actual intelligence. Google knew what I was talking about. Apple's just on, uh, I, I guess, uh, on the floor Someone's nailed its foot to the floor and it's spinning in circles. That's, that to me is, is, is an apt metaphor to use. I just need things to work. I don't want to stress out about them. I don't want to think about them. I just want them to work. And I am completely tired of things not working the way they should work. Remember the it just works thing? No, it doesn't. Oh, sure, functionally it works. Yes, I mean, I, I was able to complete the query, but I didn't get the answer I was looking for. What, did I ask it incorrectly? I don't think so. I asked it like I normally would. Google figured it out. Hell, some people would even say, well, I asked Siri and it gave me the answer. Well, good for you. What, do you want a cookie? Like, I'm glad you were there for me. To ask, am I going to ask you to ask it questions to get it to work for me when I need it to work? That, that that proves absolutely nothing. It, it, it underscores my point. It's unreliable, even with the same queries. So when I say that, uh, you know, the, the, the next iPhone is the iPhone killer, it, it's, it's different now. It's more personal for me. The iPhone killed itself. That's exactly what I quote tweeted uh, with this, this woman's uh, sentiment in, in how she felt about... Uh, and she she phrased it in a better way than, than I did, of course, because it was her experience, uh, felt about leaving the iPhone for what could very well be a more viable alternative. 
I don't know. I don't know if I can make a black, uh, blanket recommendation for everybody. Everybody needs to drop the iPhone and go to Pixel. I mean, come on. That's that's a little dramatic. And, and, and one size does not fit all. I need to be very clear about this. It's not personal. I'm not attacking your personal choices. I'm just saying that the iPhone killed itself. I'm not talking about the hardware. Let's Let's go ahead and just... Set the notch aside for a moment, though you can't ignore it if you are watching this video on an iPhone 10. It's there. Oh, I know you, you, you may have zoomed to crop the video, but it's still there. It will be when you rotate the device and you, you start using the phone beyond watching me. Uh, it, it, it killed itself. It, it's been death by a thousand cuts. This is also something that I've said. It's, it's, it's not just one thing. It's one thing on top of another thing, on top of another thing, on top of another thing. I'm not even talking about the layout slop, which has been documented since iOS 7. I'm talking about everything, everything compiled into something that just creates a killer experience. And I don't mean that in a good way. So that's what I said last night. The iPhone killed itself. I had nothing to do with it. All I know is that I'm pretty much finished with a company and specifically its mobile platform and its current trajectory if it can't even take itself seriously or if it believes in its own hype so much that it can't see that there are cracks in the wall. I'm not sure if Apple's a software company. That's concerning to me, especially now that I know there is a viable contender in the consumer electronics space that sees itself as a company that gives equal attention to AI, software, and hardware. That, to me, is critical. I don't just want to you know, talk about fancy terms on, on, a, on a piece of paper or on a box. I want to talk about that experience. That is what has been devastating, quite honestly, and I'm not the only one. I, I, some people say I'm being dramatic. I'm not the only one. You know, I, I tend to take a measured approach, but the sentiment I'm seeing is rather kind of amazing because other people find themselves in the same boat as me. I'm not just talking about uh, people who are in our Discord chat. I mean, I point over here because sometimes I zoom it in in the live videos in the youtube.com slash Locker Gnome channel. Uh, there are people who still want to get an iPhone and, 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 are, and are happy with it. But I definitely want to, you know, uh, do what I can do. Not that I am on hashtag Team Pixel or anything, uh, or at least outright. I don't think you get a badge. You should. But there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt around uh, Google's, uh, uh, you know, uh, experience, its own experience, based upon someone's experience with the Android ecosystem. It's it's like uh, the Android ecosystem is is a subset of Google's ecosystem, because there are many ways to experience Android. There's only one way to experience iOS. Many ways to experience Android, and this is where I feel it's critical that Google bring in the right people, do the right thing. I I feel that it's uh, it's something that a lot of people are going to miss out on. They're going to miss the advantages of the Pixel because they've basically uh, been entrenched not just in iOS, but only see Android as one thing. And I, I really don't feel it's one thing. It's many things that, in, 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 that overall are one thing. You know, we're talking not just market share, but Google's place in that I think is critical and it needs to communicate to people, to normies, not to you, not to the person who watches these types of videos at all. The normies need to understand that this is a viable alternative if they don't recognize that the pain that they may be experiencing can be alleviated with better solutions. And this is where Google may very well fall short. I don't know if they have the right person aboard. Maybe they need a, a, a Danny Sullivan for uh, consumer electronics experiences. I don't know if they have one. Danny's been a, a search advocate. He recently uh, basically got hired by Google to, to effectively, uh, I, I believe, uh, manage community outreach in relation to their search product. But they need something like that for the Pixel. I'm not volunteering for that because it would be a tremendous amount of time. I don't think Google would even tap me for that, though it would be an amazing position to be in. The, for anybody, I believe, uh, as an advocate uh, for the experience that Google's putting together, as a stark contrast to the experience that Apple has provided, uh, to break through these social norms that the iPhone is 
the, the pinnacle of technology and, and, and the pinnacle of smartphone uh, uh, beauty. And I, I don't know if I see that anymore. And I'm not talking just about the hardware, people. I've tried to establish that by now. I've tried. Not just in this video, but in others. It's something I care about deeply. I think we all do. Because these are our primary devices, our primary computers. These are the computers we have on us. More than just a computer, it's, it's our camera. It's our lifeline to the world. It's our knowledge base. It's everything. It's our social feed. It's everything. It, it, it's, it's a far more personal computer than my first personal computer. I've said that so many times. But I'm starting to see, or at least approach the same things I've said from a slightly skewed perspective. And that, to me, I, I think was, was interesting enough to talk about. I am on the cusp of getting my Pixels, my Pixel 2s. I uh, don't know which one I'm going to like more. Of course, you'll get updates pretty much all the time from me. Don't have a sponsor for them outright. Uh, but as I alluded to earlier, if you head over to go.tagjag.com slash device fund, I'll put the link in the video description. Go.tagjag.com slash device fund. You can help if you want. Um, you know, of course, we always love the super chats during live videos. I love the, the, the Twitch subs who join us on Discord. We almost have 100 Twitch subs, which is relatively amazing. Uh, considering I don't game on Twitch, I just use it to simulcast the podcast. And, and then, of course, uh, we also have patrons uh, from uh, patreon.com slash Chris Perillo. Twitch.tv slash Chris Perillo is my uh, Twitch profile in case you were interested. So I appreciate all the support that you give because it does help in relation to securing these pieces of hardware, which aren't cheap, that I, I can't necessarily get review units for outright. Not that I haven't tried. But uh, you will be with me on this never-ending journey of looking for a fantastic experience at this time. It's not talking about what's going to be a fantastic experience next year because I don't live in next year. I live in today. I live in right now. Right around that subscribe button or the like button. It's some, Unless YouTube moved it and it's up here now. I don't know what they're doing. Sometimes Google doesn't exactly fire on all cylinders. But let's hope that with this new direction of AI software and hardware, they really mean it. And they're going to stick with it. Because I will believe them until they give me a reason not to believe them. Uh, but that's what I wanted to talk about today. I, I thought it was appropriate. Uh, I expect to, to do some live streams in this channel with the Pixel unboxings and the reviews and everything. So thank you, everybody, for paying attention. I love you. I appreciate you, but at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, whichever devices you choose to use. I, I don't care. I don't care. I have to throw that out there. This ne isn't necessarily about you. Not everything is personal. Just because I did this video and you're watching it and you're watching it alone doesn't mean you're the only person out there. The fact that I even have to say that is frustrating. Some people don't quite get it. But I believe in you. I believe you get it. So, may the force be with you.